Jason Albert from the technology firm. I'm going to run through a little exercise that I do in some of the wireless workshops uh, as well as some of my troubleshooting engagements. And the premise is quite simple that these uh, devices that we use, uh, our tablet, phone, laptop, and not even through this in for good measures, a wireless testing device from Fluke Networks, um, show how well it might hear the access point and how the access point might not hear them as well. And this is a very simple example. I put an access point 30 feet away through some drywall. And this is a 2.4 gigahertz test. I'm not testing 5 gigahertz at all. And I just want to measure how well they hear them. So on these Android devices, I was just using a, a wireless, a Wi-Fi utility uh, that we talk about a lot in the wireless workshop. The laptop, I was just running uh, Insider or Insider, however you want to say it. Uh, you can use Vista Stumbler, Net Stumbler, it doesn't matter. I just wanted a number. And then, of course, this device reports the signal strength as well. So I was able to pick up how well they heard the AP. Then, conversely, I needed to find out how well the AP heard them. So in this case, the Cisco access point, I just went to the web page, and I just watched the signal strength right here. Okay. There's uh, many ways to pull this out. I just did a very simple thing. I just did refresh, 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 got a couple of sample points, and I just used that number as my result. And now I've got two numbers. I've got the RSSI reading from the client side and from the AP side. The problem that we have in the wireless world, though, is when we're doing it from the AP side of things, that end device, that laptop or that tablet, uh, the radio might cycle off uh, because there's nothing going on. So we need to keep it active. So I just did something real simple. I just basically took a ping, just started pinging them, and then I came to this access point and I got my stats. And that way the radio doesn't really go to sleep. So what did we get? Let's take a look here. We've got these numbers here. And for the people who've seen RSSI numbers before, you might notice this is a bit odd, only because this RSSI number d does not have negative uh, values in front of it. I took the negative out just for cosmetic reasons and for the reason of when I graph it, it's going to look a lot better to the eye. So for the people that aren't familiar with RSSI, this is our uh, strength indicator, or measure uh, energy. And the way to read this is quite simple. The number that is lower to zero is stronger and the number closer to 100 is weaker. So for example, this is a 67 from the tablet, and that's a 71 from the cell phone. So obviously, the tablet hears it better than the cell phone. And and the same thing on the AP side of things. So that's what we're going to go with. So for example, the tablet heard the access point at an egg 67, but the access point heard the tablet at a, at a 75. So obviously, the access point is not hearing the tablet as well as it heard the access point. Now all these devices are literally on my desk side by side. I'm going to say literally half an inch from each other. So you know this is a, a fairly good sample that we have here. The Fluke One Touch, it's a um, wireless uh, end cable and LAN analyzer from Fluke Networks. And you can see that it's hearing the access point at 73 and the AP is hearing it at 72. So I'm going to call that pretty well even. And, and that's a good example of a, a device that has a fairly balanced antenna and radio, which is pretty cool. On this side of thing, we have the laptop. Laptop's hearing the AP at 63 and the AP is hearing it at 70. Again, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. And lastly, this is the, the weirdo one. The Samsung Nexus uh, phone with Wi-Fi, of course heard the AP at 71 and the AP heard it at 67. So this is an inverse. I'm not hearing the AP as well, but he's hearing me better. So when you take a look at the chart here, you can see there's our chart and you can quickly start seeing when things are uh, relatively, I call it balanced, but I'm hearing the AP as well as the AP is hearing me. Uh, and that just helps illustrate to people that just because you got a laptop on your desk and you can get a Wi-Fi signal doesn't mean you can get it with your iPhone or your iTouch or your iPad or your iBook or you know that kind of thing. Uh, people are expecting the same type of radio reception and coverage with all Wi-Fi devices, which is where you start to get into trouble. Uh, that's it. I hope that helps. Maybe you can do this at work yourself. And have a good day. Bye for now.